the Watsila F4 which is uh, newly been installed and uh, nowadays it is coming on all the ships so this is basically only for planning purpose and there is there are two modes of navy planner and one is your ecdis so this is ecdis can be not to be used for your uh, navigation purpose you have both the ecdis so this is only for the like a planning station there is a keyboard over here and this is the mouse right. so let's start first i'll show you before initially starting if you want anything to be reset or to be restart and something like this then this is a menu over here click this one and then you can restart the system okay once it gets started then uh, you will see you will see this completely blank and only the menu which is down over here so in that case you press this egg disk it will start loading and then you will see this icon on the top which is coming again after once that gets loaded press this navy planner 4000 so after that one the navy planner will start loading and initially initializing and everything okay. so yeah so let's start and close all these plans which are already open over here one and this is two okay. and there is one more thing. So let's start. First, we'll start with the planning station over here. So just make sure that this navy planner is switched on over here. There are uh, this is the menu over here. As you could see, <coughs> these are the routes, which are, whatever whichever are there inside. Then, if you want to load any route via you know USB pen drive, then you have this uh, open route. Like you can go inside, and then there are a lot of uh, other stops over like your AVCS and all whichever updates come permits and everything. To a load route you can do it from here and to delete route if any route is you can delete it through this system over here rest all etc then there is this is the voyage so what happens in voyage is once you make a route to ordering all your permits and enc you have to load that route into the voyage so in voyage there are two two routes you can load this is voyage one and voyage two so for ordering so in case if you are uh, if you have loaded already one voyage and you are working on that one then you can simultaneously order it through voyage uh, 2 also so this is voyage 1 over here so these are if you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 sections are there which is general optimization nav data fine tune check voyage and voyage plan okay and then this is the voyage status over here all right so let's start so this is the one and then this is a route what happens in route is like you can make a new route or you can transfer it from your exit Right now the problem is that you cannot uh, transfer on my ship, I cannot transfer my route from this Watchilla to the Eggbiz because of some format issues, so which they are going to resolve it uh, very quick. So right now I cannot transfer them, so you have to make a new route over here. And then you can... So but if you have a CSV file in your Eggbiz, so you can bring that CSV file to the Watchilla and then import the file and then you will see a the pen drive you can connect your pen drive over here and then you can see a e folder and then you can uh, transfer it just transfer it and then it's very easy okay. as you can see right now it's gone into an offline mode which i will tell you later on how to do this one all right uh, one more thing okay so let's start you will see again and again sometimes you know these routes which are coming and they are again loading so you can just close them it's because they have been kept open somewhere so for example load route and these are the recent routes or something like that so you can check any like grammar to coaching or something like that so you can select any of these okay. or you can plan your new route so okay, there is uh, for planning your new route this is the one loading your route already which have been transferred from your the csp files this is for importing routes and this is like auto route you can select over here like uh, we have been going from Chengchu so press on this anchor positions then just type the, like the uh, 
zoom in and then you can select press both the things go i mean you create the route from and to and then uh, just press this get route so what will happen is it will plan the route for you from all the parameters that you have set in your initial settings so that is also one i am going to show you so how you have set your initial settings so this is how you go about automatically route planning so this this will take your positions from whatever are there in your uh, either in your selling directions or in your uh, volume 6 lrs volume 6 so it will take your positions from that the pilot positions and then it will plan. so for that once you do this thing also you can try this one after doing this one uh, you can uh, do airway points like after that route gets uh, loaded uh, for example let me press okay so basically here so these are the main waypoints manually waypoint editor this is waypoint selector you can select this is air waypoints so air waypoints is something like you can edit and shift your waypoint wherever they are so you can make that route auto route over there and then you can just you know just pick this route uh, waypoints up and then just get them outside clear of any dangers and everything Fixed focus. This is waypoint table. So waypoint table, what you will find is position, leg, your distance, everything is there. And then you can find also few things which are required in your passage plan, like cat dog, cat dog, and then few other details are here. If they are coastal water passage. So why these things comes over here? Because you have set some settings. Like for coastal waters, it is uh, less than 25 nautical miles, and all these settings we have set. So this is how it is. So to close this one, press again. Same thing. All right. This is waypoint info. Any anything like marpole related. So for example, uh, just a moment. So this will give you uh, like if any if you have like yeah you see here I was searching for this one. So vessel location, click this one. So at at present at my location, where I where, what what else I can do? You see if I'm clear of this information, yes I'm out of this polluted and disinfected sewage. What I cannot do is this one. I'm into this 200 nautical mile zone as I'm closer to this Madagascar. So I'm into this 200 nautical mile zone. So this is for ballast water exchange. So I cannot do it over here. So if another thing I can do over here is place this by cursor, take it uh, somewhere. As you can see, I'm taking it somewhere just north of this, uh, south of this um, Maldives. Press over here, and then uh, see it's calculating. And then you can see it. You are out of all this whatever are required as per market. So this is one nice tool which you can uh, use for. Uh, can identify when you can do your ballast water exchange or when you can sewage and all this. All these are the this is for reference point. For example, you can take a reference point. This is reverse the route link and then so once your route is over here and then if you are finished with your editing and all that, you can close the route or you can keep it open either of the one things. Then go to the voyage and then load this route over here. The same one which we have already edited. As you can see, the routes get loaded over here. And then, and then you have to start making all these signals which are which are orange color. They should be made into green. Okay, but you have to start it from the left side. You cannot start it from the other way. So. Like generally, whatever is required, it is everything is there. You have loaded, loaded the route and everything. Optimization. So, press this optimization. So, how you want to optimize this route? So, so before this, you should have the weather and all the details inside. So, that one also I will show you how to. All those are the settings. So, this is the after part. Before that, whatever are the settings required, we will go to show you. So, by ETA, for example. And then you put whatever all the details over here, whatever your midship craft, and just press once click, and then you can scroll this upwards. 
for example like uh, if i have to show 11.912 and then you start you can see this is optimization in progress so once it will start optimizing it will give you a route it will ask you whether you are okay with whatever route they have optimized you for you as per the weather conditions and as per whatever setting you have selected for ballast water exchange if you want to do or all these things okay. it will take a uh, few minutes after that this signal will turn into green color only if you accept that route so let's wait 